Hey guys, here with a quick review today, we're going to be talking about The Night Watch by Sarah Waters. For starters, I just want to apologize quickly for the lighting in this video. It is a pretty grim day outside and unfortunately I don't currently have studio lighting. I'm relying on a window and it's it's not doing much good. So I also have an overhead light on, so there's some, some great shadows going on. Just bear with me. The Night Watch was originally published in 2006. I picked up my copy secondhand sometime last year and it's a little bit tattered. The spine is quite broken, but on the plus side, this is the cover design that I like. The Night Watch is set in London during the 1940s and it follows the stories of four slash five main characters and their stories are told in actually quite an interesting way. The characters are all linked together in some way and the beginning section of the book is set during 1947 after the war and we kind of see the state that these characters are in during that time. We have Viv who is having an affair with a married man we have Duncan, her brother, who is working in a factory after being released from prison. We have Helen and her partner, Julia, who aren't necessarily going through the best of times. And we also have Kay, who dresses in mannish clothes and is just a restless, unhappy person. So the first 170 pages is during that time. There are references to plenty of things that we don't necessarily understand yet. We see that these characters lives aren't necessarily all that they could be. And the second section of the book takes us to 1944 during the war and we see where these characters were at that point three years earlier. Things begin to make a little bit more sense. We begin to see how these characters became the way that they are. We see what they went through. We see what it means to live during a war that you don't necessarily have anything to do with on a personal level. And then the third and final section of the book goes back a further three years to 1941. And we see what was essentially the start of these characters' troubles. I don't necessarily remember having ever read a book set out in quite this way. The way the stories are told I found fascinating, I found so interesting, I really just, I really enjoyed the characters. There were some I liked more than others, but I felt for all of them. As you may have guessed, it's not a particularly upbeat book, but at the same time, it's just so honest feeling, and the writing really just takes you to the characters' point of views. It was just great, I really, really enjoyed it. The Night Watch is my third Sarah Waters book. I've previously read The Little Stranger, which I absolutely adored, and Tipping the Velvet, which I really liked. If I had to rank them, I would say The Little Stranger has been my favorite Sarah Waters so far, followed by The Night Watch and then Tipping the Velvet. For me, Sarah Waters really brought to life that time period, the kind of emotions and situations that people would have been dealing with during that time. It's a book set during the war without necessarily being about the war at all. It came in at a little over 500 pages. There's quite a lot packed into this book, but it was very easy and enjoyable to read. I really do highly recommend this to any Sarah Waters fans, as well as anyone who's interested in the time period, who doesn't mind a little bit of an introspective book. I think to some, this might be a kind of a slow story, but to me, it wasn't at all. There was so much to keep me turning the pages and I really did enjoy the characters. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you've read The Night Watch, I would love to hear what you thought of it as well as letting me know what your favorite Sarah Waters book is. I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon.